Welcome to a very special episode 11 of Minecraft in Unity. Today we're going to be creating some blocks and I was going to just show you how I do it because it's uh, I don't I'm not a professional so this is a really quick and easy way to create tile maps. So this is a two layer PSD file in the background. You can do this in, in any any uh, paint program that supports layers. In the background I've got a grid of 64 by 64 by 64. You know, 64 by 64 and I've got you know 16 of them across a, 20, a, a 10 24 by 10 24 16 by 16. You know, the standard. Uh, so what I do is each of these is going to be one of our bricks faces. So uh, we're going to just do the top face and the side faces as separate faces specifically so that we can have an interesting appearance. So I just highlight the one thing that I'm going to be editing uh, and then I switch over to uh, a very rough um, uh, a very rough brush like this and I just fill it in. And then I change color slightly. There you go. And that, uh, that gives you a nice texture. Now the problem with doing it like this is that you end up with uh, a very tile set sort of uh, edge system. Uh, the, the whole thing ends up looking very blocky and there, there are lots of ways to do that better um, but generally speaking I just do a little bit of blurring and then uh, repeat the process with a lighter color like this. And I'm going to do the same thing with the top. That is the top rather. I'm going to do the same thing with the brick that's going to be the side which will make the one beneath it like this. But this one, because it is vertical, I'm going to go mostly vertical. And since we already have the colors that the top brick is defined as, I'll just drag and drop them down here. But if we want to go vertical, I sometimes shrink down the brush so that we get some actual vertical grain going. Uh, the roughness is a little too high, so I'm going to lower the roughness. And oh, that's too dark. There we are. Uh, so that's a kind of uh, a, an easy and quick way to make tiles. Now you're not going to, this is definitely programmer art grade stuff. Uh, you're going to want to do it with a serious eye towards uh, how they mesh and merge at the edges. Um, more than that, I think there might be problems with bleed, uh, but we'll, we'll deal with all that crap later. For now we're just going to go ahead and continue doing it like this. Uh, for the ice, I'm going to go ahead and just make it, uh, I'm going to do both at once. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill and then modify the fill. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I missed it by one. What a shame. Now, there are actually dedicated, um, uh, f there are many tools out there that are dedicated tile set editors. Uh, some of them are fantastic, um, but I don't happen to own any of them, uh, or have them on this computer at least, so uh, I'm just going to do it using uh, a cheap Photoshop knockoff. Uh, so that's ice, now we need some water. But you know, we do have, well, I guess I'll continue using water. I'm going to switch over to a um, a brush that is a little bit more wavy for water. I guess I should once again just select the top brush here. Good enough, and now we're going to go ahead and oh, that's too. I made the uh, made the thumbnail extremely huge on accident there, uh, which made it difficult for me to see the picture, which was no good. So let's go ahead and make ourselves some sand now. Go back to the high spread, high noise. Uh, there we go. Go ahead and blur it down. 
There they are. And then we'll go ahead and bring it back just a little bit. Like that. And uh, lastly, I'm going to go ahead and create uh, a, a green, uh, a grassy dirt block. Which we'll do by actually copying this block here. Like this. Copy, paste, and then drag it across into the proper position. And then we are going to go ahead and modify it to be green. Yeah, we're going to have bleed problems because Unity fucking resizes everything. Maybe we can fix that using an option somewhere. We will find out. Reduce the noise. A little too much noise. There we are. That looks about right. And then we'll go ahead and select the lower half. And it's in this sort of block that the repeats become really, really obvious if you're not careful. So that's why most of the time you're going to want to make this. That's why most of the time you're going to want to make this as straight as possible, so that you don't get a feeling that the block is repeating quite so sharply. That should do it. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, save it as PSD, and then we're going to go ahead and export it as a PNG, and we're going to go ahead and call this tile map. I'm not going to actually overwrite the scribble one that I made so long ago. All right, so we've done that. Let me go back into Unity. And uh, uh, if we go into Materials, we can see... Uh, I changed the window size. Okay, that's fine. So we can see that here is our tile map. And you see that how we left the bricks on in the background. So we go back into here, we turn them off, and then we export it as a PNG again. That's better. So when it reloads, it comes back as oh that's oh it's interpreting the PSD. I actually didn't realize I could just read a PSD straight up. That's interesting. Well, we won't be reading the PSD straight up. We're going to be using this, which is the tile map. Uh, so if you're doing it with a PSD like I just did, make sure you understand which of these is the PSD and which of these is the tile map. Um, or use the PSD as you'd like. We keep in mind that both of them show up. So this is the material we, we were using with this pinwheel. Let's go ahead and just override it like so. Now if we hit play, we're going to notice that all of our bricks are black. And the reason is because that they are all being specified as down in the corner. So this was a short episode. I was going to do the art. Um, and next episode we will do the actual actual retexture mapping, which is pretty straightforward, but it's got a couple of tiny little gotchas, so we're going to take our time with it.